My name is Njideka Kunle Crosby. I am an artist and I live in Los Angeles. There are two ways people can encounter my studio window visits. When I'm in between projects, it's very clean and neat and everything is in its place. If you came to my studio right now, I'm a week away from a deadline. <laughs> It's a mess. It makes sense to me, but it'll drive anybody crazy to come into the space. Um, when I go to the studio, it's a two-part thing. On one hand, I'm always excited to go there, and on the other hand, there is a little bit of anxiety because it's a space where I have to problem solve. I, I'm walking into it knowing there's something on the wall, I don't know how it ends, I don't know where it's going to go, and I have to figure it out. So that does make me nervous, but um, whenever um, I look for new studios, I, I try to get a place I, I will be happy to spend time in. I, I feel I've had a great day in the studio when I leave feeling I accomplished something. And accomplishing something doesn't mean I painted a lot. It might not even be anything you can see. So for instance, some weeks ago, I was working on a new piece and I was trying to figure out where the transfers would go. So I usually do sketches for those and I drew out multiple shapes. And with each sketch, I keep refining where it'll go. And then by the maybe 12th sketch, I had it down and I looked at the shape I had figured out for where the transfers would go, and I loved it. So even though nothing moved forward on the work, I felt accomplished that day. It's about learning how to be in your studio all the time. Um, the inspiration comes from just constantly working. So that's my relationship to my studio. It's a place I try to go into every day. Even though I might not work every day, I'm just there and thinking of ideas, doing little drawings nobody will ever see, little sketches on Photoshop. And all what those things do is they build up your toolbox. So when you finally have those moments of inspiration, those little dinky sketches and little fun things you've done are in your arsenal. In terms of my work and my pricing and where they've ended up, it always comes back for me to this question of what is important to you and what matters in life. What's important for me with the work has never been to get as much money for it as I can. It's more for um, wanting people to see the work, wanting, you know, if you feel what you're saying is important and relevant, then what really matters is that people see the work and museums are the best custodians for your work. The gallery has been really good in um, <laughs> partnering with me to try and keep the prices a little bit low so that they're affordable for museums. Museums cannot buy at that price point. And so it just goes back to what's important to you.